Hi, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks for joining me. Let's talk a little bit about your authentic voice and how it fits into the overall marketing branding strategy. And I think the, the real takeaway is that there is not one style that is going to be the most engaging with all prospective clients. And the worst thing you can do is to try to ape someone else's style. And I'll tell you, this was something that uh, I tried to do early on with disastrous uh, uh, consequences. Uh, I went to a T. Harv Eckert uh, seminar back, oh my God, now it must be 20 years ago. And he had a whole bunch of presenters who were on the stage and they had this very aggressive sales presentation and it obviously seemed to be working well for them because people were lining up to buy their products in the back of the room. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to do that. And well, you know, an aggressive sales presentation just isn't in my wheelhouse. And it you know, came across as phony. Matter of fact, I did a presentation to the Kiwanis and someone actually wrote me a note saying, I loathe that presentation. So uh, <laughs> the key winds up being that you need to really identify what your authentic voice is. And there's any of a number of authentic voices that, that will work. Uh, a couple of examples. I, I don't know who you follow on social media. I follow a lot of different people. Uh, you uh, you probably have heard of, of Gary V with uh, you know his very popular book Crush It, and uh, you know it's almost impossible to avoid Gary V. I mean he does you know podcasts, he does blogs, he does YouTube videos. Uh, he, he will even text you with with updates on what's going on, and he's you know very high energy, very engaging, very very smart. And his business is, as you know, one would guess, crushing it. Uh, but the interesting thing is that although Gary V shares an awful lot of information about his business and what he suggests, things that you ought to try to do, he doesn't talk at all about his personal life. You really don't know anything about his wife or his kids or anything of that nature. So people that feel that this is uh, a requirement that you share your personal life, you know, he's, he's a classic example of that. You don't have to do it. Now, on the opposite end of the spe spectrum, you got someone like Rachel Bell. You know, I don't know if you follow Rachel Bell. She's a 24-year-old, uh, teaches coaches uh, how to grow their business only does Instagram. I don't even know if the lady has a website. She never seems to say send a follow-up email, does the whole thing on Instagram, and her life is an open book. So if you subscribe to Rachel Bell, you not only get some really good advice on growing your business, but you know, you hear about her boyfriend, you hear about her dog, you hear about this thing called red light therapy, you hear about her moving from Austin to San Diego and back and forth or whatever it is. But it's you know totally engaging. But the interesting thing and the real takeaway is that for both Gary V as well as Rachel Bell, it is their authentic voice. And that is really what's key in terms of building your community. And that's what it really is all about, is building a community where you establish that classic no like, and trust. And then out of that community, there will become, you know, or there will come a certain percentage of people who are interested in engaging you for the kinds of services that you offer. But the real key, of course, is uh, maintaining or identifying that authentic voice and then putting that out. So anyway, thought this might be of, of, of interest and helpful to you. So I uh, thought, uh, thought I'd share it with you. So hope you're having a, a great day. I hope I have a chance to talk to you one of these days in person. But until then, bye for now.